Hi YouTube, my name is Caliber20. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fairly unique MP7. This is the New Wave Small Rice MP7, also known as the WE MP7. This gun is not advertised by WE as them making it, but it is actually made by WE. Uh, this basically has the same internals as the SMG8. And uh, so a lot of people are actually interested in this particular gun because it, in the Philippines it actually retails far lower than the KSC KWA gun. Uh, for KSC gun, you're looking at around 15,000 to 16,000 pesos. This particular gun, I got it from Tux. I'll be linking uh, the post where you can get it from. Uh, it's around 9,700 pesos. So it's fairly cheap and the magazines are also fairly cheap. So uh, we're gonna be taking a look at it and see if it actually stacks up with the KWA uh, KSC version. So this is uh, the WE MP7. This one of the main features of this particular gun is that it's a hundred, it's one-to-one -one replica of the real gun. Uh, we don't have a KWA MP7 here to actually compare it to, but the KWA version is actually 90%, 90-85% size of the real gun. So this one, kind of like the VFC, is a hundred percent. So if you put them both together. The KWA looks smaller and kind of looks like a toy. So this particular replica uh, has all the things that you'd associate with an MP7. So it has uh, folding sights in front and the back. So this is pistol sights and this is rifle sights. It has a collapsible stock, folding front grip, full auto. So this is the selector switch. Safe, single, full. And this is the bolt lock. What's nice about this is that, unlike the KWA stock, this actually has multiple positions cut into the stock. The KWA one only has one, if I remember correctly. So, to fire the gun, basically the same manual of arms. Charge the gun, put the magazine in, fire. This thing also has an insane rate of fire. And it's fairly loud. It's really, it's louder than my MP9, my KWA MP9, which is saying a lot because that motherfucker is actually already freaking freakishly loud. So after you empty the magazine, Take a new one, put it in, fire away. So let's talk about the WE MP7. So the FPS out of the box, you're looking at 400 to 390 FPS, which is a bit hot for the US and the UK, but here in the Philippines, that's fine for CQB. Some of the issues that I actually found with this particular gun is that the trigger, set uh, on semi-auto it's really really terrible it's probably the worst trigger I've ever had on an out-of-the-box gun this gun has been fixed by me so it doesn't have the shitty trigger so what happened before and you can see that in the unboxing video that I did is that when you pull the trigger it doesn't fire you just have to pull really really hard for the hammer to drop on semi-auto and this is the same issue that actually plagues the SMG8. It's, to fix that, it's actually a simple fix. Um, can, anybody can actually do it in around 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You just have to file a single, you just have to uh, 
correct something inside the trigger. So, uh, as far as price goes, this is probably the cheapest that MP7 that you can you can get, and it's actually the hardest recoiling MP7, even if you compare it to the VFC MP7. Okay, let's talk about trademarks. When you get the gun out of the box, the gun has absolutely trade, no trademarks aside from the caliber marking here on the side, which says uh, 4.6 millimeter by 30. But the trademarks uh, actually come in little plastic pieces that you will see inside the box that you can put in different parts of the gun, the grip, one side, and here in the bottom. Um, and when you put that on, you might actually want to put some uh, adhesive on there because, because of the recoil of the gun, you can see me actually just pushing in the pins because I wasn't like that when we started. Because the recoil of the gun is just something else. It's also one of the loudest SMGs that I own. This is even louder than the KWA MP9. And if people who, people who actually own a KWA MP9 or has actually heard it, knows how loud it is. Just listen. It's just really, really loud. So um, when you use it, you're just basically gonna hear, everybody's gonna hear you shooting. To adjust the hop, it's kind of weird. So it actually adjusts the same way as a, well, not exactly the same way, but in the same place as a KWA MP7. Let's take that off. And if we can zoom in here, there's a hex screw there. It's right about right above the barrel. But you put in the hex screw, you basically turn it um, to the left for less hop, to the right for more hop. So we're going to be testing out how far or how accurate this particular gun is. Uh, for our test, we're going to be actually using 0.25 BBs. Uh, we're using green gas for this test. Uh, and the distance is probably around seven yards, 10 yards, so 21 feet, around thereabouts. So let's go. All right, as you can see, five shots, uh, two in Charlie, three in Alpha. This is around a five inch group. Around uh, ten, around ten, uh, 10 yards, so it's not amazing, but still, it's basically still a man-sized target for that for that uh, length. We're using green gas again. If you didn't catch that, we're using green gas. 0.25 BBs. Uh, hop is set at the close, at the flattest trajectory that we can get, and uh, yeah, that's basically your group. So this particular gun has still still has a stock hop up in it. So uh, it is a uh, CQB gun. So you're not looking at you're probably not using it for uh, sniping, obviously. So this is actually good enough for CQB purposes. So at the end of the day, is the WE MP7 any good? Well, it is. Just there's just some caveats to it before you actually buy it. Um, if you're not the type of person that actually likes opening up uh, gas blowback guns and actually working on trigger mods and stuff like that, you're not the guy for this gun. Because you will have to actually fix the semi-auto uh, trigger problem yourself, or at least you need to find someone to actually know what they're doing. But at the price, it's uh, actually around 9,700 pesos from Tux. Magazines are around 2,200 pesos. It's the most affordable MP7 around. It's also the correct size. If you're someone that actually likes to cosplay, uh, you're actually a gear though, you're actually doing stuff like that, this is the gun to buy. Because the alternatives are actually more expensive. Last I checked, uh, KWA KSC MP7 is around 16,000 pesos, so 15,000 pesos. Uh, VFC MP7, which actually is the correct size, is around 6, 000, it's around 16,000 pesos, 17,000 pesos, which is basically the same thing. Magazines are also expensive for those guns. Those, you're looking at 3,200 pesos to 3,300 pesos. 9,700 pesos, 2,200 pesos. 
So, yes, the, the WEMP7 is actually a pretty good gun um, to buy out of the box. Uh, again, like I said, I'm linking to Tooks down below uh, where you can actually buy it. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and comment on the, on the comment box below if you have any questions about this particular gun. Thank you for watching.